Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 5th, 2020. So today we have Crowquite Sexuality. Now this is really interesting because there, this might get a little deep here, because there have been quite a few um, realizations I know for people coming up where we're realizing where our sexual energy has been taken away or where um, there's a you know, we're the, we've talked about this before, the Pluto and Scorpio generation <laughs> who've come out and, you know, they have a very distinct, not always, but some have a very distinct approach to sexuality and that's all well and good, except where has our sexual energy been sacrificed? Okay, where has it been sacrificed? Where was uh, someone who maybe had a little bit of a dark energy came in and took some of that from us? The thing we don't talk about is how common this is. We don't talk about it because it's absolutely devastating to think about at what age this might start. But there, this is happening. This is out there and it's happening. It's happened to me. It's happened, uh, it's happened to me since, you know, a long time ago. Um, it's happened to lots of other people too. And we get into this mindset because of this... Uh, this energy that gets put out there, this story that gets put in front of us, that somehow you're less than, right? Like there was something missing from you. In a way, you, you had to sacrifice this to feed some unseen thing out there. And then we get programmed. We get programmed to think that this isn't power. Of course it is. That's why it gets taken from us. We get programmed to think that now we're damaged and that what's really fun is the shallow, disconnected, desperate stuff. Well, you know what that does? It keeps getting that anxious energy going. And now no one who's engaging in that is really having a connection. They're just throwing their energy away. And if you get with a group of people that agree with you, you're validated. And you don't seek out any help. You don't ever try to find that connection again. Well, I've got my connection. It's right here. You think that's connection? You think you're in full power there? Nope. You're just bouncing off of someone else's pain. That is ridiculous. That nope. I know I'm not ridiculous. I know exactly what I'm talking about here. Toxicity is coming to the surface. Desperation is going to come to the surface and we're all gonna see it. It's all gonna be exposed. And what we're gonna have to get back to is a place of healing. Now I'm not saying, listen, listen, I'm very open-minded. I'm your Scorpio girl over here, okay? Nothing shocks me. The only thing that shocks, well, this shocks me. The only thing that shocks me is people and their approaches sometimes or thinking they are completely healthy when really they're not. And they'll try to get people to believe that they're, no, I'm fine, this is great, like whatever, but it's not. So there's a difference in the energy. It's not about the act necessarily, okay? It's more about the intention behind it. And what energy are you really producing? If you've got somebody who's in uh, what I guess mainstream would consider an unusual situation, <laughs> right? but they're all healthy, like truly healthy, not just, you know, being in denial about their level of healing, but they're all like in a, you know, a good positive place. Everyone's respecting everybody else. It's all good. That is not what's happening out there usually. No, it's not. There's a lot of like coercing people, manipulating people to get them to do what, to get someone to do what you want them to do. Not you guys, but you know, trying to get people to see things in a different light. And like, come on, come on, come on, pressuring. Especially if you're a young person listening to this, like, you know, this is supposed to be like, <laughs> like I'm saying like a young adult, okay? And you're listening to this, no one should ever pressure you on anything. 
You always have the right to say no. You always have the right to walk away. Don't let them suck you in. All right? Don't, don't let that keep going. You have power. And you don't have to feed that unseen thing out there that hopefully one day will get exposed. I think it's happening. I think it's happening very, very quickly. But um, to what extent, I'm not sure. <laughs> and that's my, that's where I kind of like, you know, sit with this for a second and kind of wonder. But um, definitely figure out what's healthy for you. Open your eyes. Don't worry about being PC. You don't need to worry about that because that's how they get you. No, you're supposed to be open-minded to everybody. I am very open-minded. And I see some of the perpetrators out there that are posing as just, you know, sex positive. No, you're luring people in to take their energy. And you're done. The world we're going into will not support you. You are done. Tell your friends. Put it on a t-shirt. Announce it from the hilltops. <laughs> we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.